I am SirTapTap, Tap, and welcome to another Poke2 little guide thing. Remember you can support the channel with either the little join button below the video to become a YouTube member, or on my Patreon, SirTap, or patreon.com slash SirTapTap. Um, so, battles in Poke2 suck, and I don't know why people care about them. <laughs> I'm gonna be very upfront about that. Um, things, status moves do not work, a lot of moves just do not work. Um, it, as you can see, it shows status moves like Growl and stuff. Um, they just do zero damage. They don't work. Um, setting up your Pokémon is a pain in the butt. It's a 3v3 battle format, which is kind of neat, but I mean, it doesn't work very well. Um, so, the first thing you want to do is check out your Pokémon. So, like, P-Info, I'm using my Decidueye as my, this my starter. That's, you know, a decently leveled Pokémon. Um, let's see its potential moves. So you just use P move set to check out your moves. Let's learn, um... Let's learn, um... Uh, Leaf Blade. You learn... Leaf Blade. Blade. Please enter the name of the move to replace. So let's forget Foresight. Because, like I said, Foresight does not work because it's a status move. It does not actually do anything in Bogey 2. So now, now we've learned Leaf Blade, um, you can just check check out your Pokémon with the P Pokémon command. You can see all of your Pokémon here. So if I want to see what moves my, my lovely Trubbish can use, I can do P select 11, P moves, it current moves. It, you, it currently just learns fairly random moves based on whatever you captured it and whatever levels you know, whatever moves it had available to it. It works just like wild Pokemon, more or less, in uh, regular Pokemon. It just kind of has whatever it could have had. And you can you can change stuff. There's no TMs, there's no move tutors, there's nothing in the shop for moves. It's really just your P move set at the moment. Like I said, extremely limited. Um, you can, however, customize your Pokemon somewhat if you go to the shop. You can, um, there are held items. I'm not entirely sure if they work. Like, let's go to P, not P, or just P shop four. I think those are just, those are just for evolution. Um, you can prevent experience, but yeah, th these items are only for evolution. They, they don't have their, you know, battle effects. Um, P shop is also, you can change your Pokemon's nature, which has a minor effect on its stats. Well, a 10% effect, I believe. It's not that minor, but, um, it's minor in that these battles are so silly and don't work very well, and if you really just want to simulate po Pokemon battles, there is a really good Pokemon battle simulator. Um, I forget exactly what it's called. Just Google Smogon Battle Simulator and you'll find it. Um, but if you really want to do fights in Poke... Um, in Poke 2, just go to P Duel. After you've, you, you do want to set up your moves, because otherwise, like I said, you just have random moves. Um, but you just do P duel at the person you want to fight. So I'm going to fight myself over here, because I have an identity crisis. Then your person just has to click the little check mark. Now what you have to do here, you have to add P battle add Pokemon. This is, it's, it's kind of crappy. So, um, let's look at our Pokemon here. Um, invariably what I always end up doing is I just do P bat battle add one. That's my first Pokemon. That's my second Pokemon. It's my third Pokemon. <laughs> I, I I don't. The, the battles are so silly. I I don't bother. But ideally speaking, you would like pick out like, oh, I should have used my Chandelure because you know it's level one hundred. But whatever. This is just a demonstration. So over here, these these so these are the number of Pokemon that you want to pick. And you can always tell out what, what your numbers are by using P Pokemon to you know, check out, like, oh, I'm gonna use my Tora Cat or whatever. But instead, we have an incredibly unfair match against a pretty good Decidueye and a bunch of random garbage on my back of the count. Because I only have it to test battles and other random stuff. So, this is another thing where things are really stupid. You have to go into your DMs. Both of you have to go into your DMs, and so you don't really get to see the battle happen. So let's use, um... Let's do a U-turn to show you something dumb, and I'll use, um, Protect. Though I shouldn't take damage because I used Protect, right? <laughs> no. Protect does not work. Fascinatingly, Protect did have priority, so pri priority does work. 
Um, and as you can see, U-Turn did not swap me out. Though, does U-Turn still swap you out if you knock out the Pokémon? I don't honestly remember. Um, so, we'll use Leaf Blade this time. And C-Dot, we'll use Harden. Because C-Dot will be knocked out instantly anyway. So... It's so fussy, and it's like, it's the, the, it's trying to be secret, I guess, so you can't see what moves the other person has. But it's so, it's so weird. At least show me the battle in the DMs if I'm gonna have to be forced to DMs. I, I, basically every Pokemon bot that I've tried has a better battle system than this. Like, um, check out Poke Meow has a pretty good battle system. Um, Mew is fantastic for battles. Mew is focused entirely about battles. M-Y-U-U. I have a guide for that as well. Uh, a written guide, not a video guide so far. This Golbat has some health, huh? Let's use Leaf Storm. Use whatever. Um, so, like I said, uh, this is basically, you have to treat this like your Pokemon, like, treat battles in Poke 2 like you're a little kid and you think Earthquake is the coolest move ever. And you only use the, the moves with the highest battle power. You don't care about stats. You don't care about, um, you don't care about priority. I guess you can care about priority, but you get what I mean. It doesn't matter. Just use, um, just use your strongest moves and your strongest Pokemon. Um, speed and stats matter, but like status moves don't. Um, bulky Mons are going to be completely worthless. Um, stealth rocks and stuff, totally worthless. Um, you know, anything, you just only want sweepers. You just need high speed, high damage. That's all that matters. And you want to have three Pokemon set up. The problem is, like, the odds of you matching up to somebody's experience level exactly, unless you both have, you know, three plus level 99 Pokemon. Um, it's fairly low, and you don't get anything for dueling. There's really no point to it. Um, <laughs> it's probably Poke 2's, like, least good feature the, the the screen it really does look like i'm playing game boy advance pokemon though it, it looks all right actually i guess it looks more like um it looks more like gen 4 really but yeah <laughs> it doesn't work too great it, it kind of works but that's really all there is to it there's absolutely really nothing too fancy um just check your moves make sure you have moves set it used to not you used to not have moves by default so you had to set up your moves um like Otherwise, you would just have no options in battle. That was great. So they they are improving the system, but at the moment, it, it kind of sucks, and there's kind of no reason to do it. But I did a video on it anyway, because people asked, and I hope that helps, even if I obviously don't really plan to do any battles. Um, let me know what questions you might have in the comments, and let me know your favorite Pokemon in the comments. And uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff.